What's up, B-Timers? Welcome to a Hot Wheels Showcase, where we are showcasing Hot Wheels Tesla castings. We've got several different Tesla castings, so let's get right into it. We will start it off with the two big ones that you see on either side right here. First thing is the Super Treasure Hunt variation of the Tesla Roadster. I've got this one unopened, a very, very cool casting. I just I love the real riders on these Super Treasure Hunts as well as the Spectra Flame paint job. This one just looks fantastic. And this one is dated as a 2013 release. So it's either a 2013 or 2014 Super Treasure Hunt. But uh, I've got this one unopened. I don't know if I'm gonna ever open it or not. I'm not too sure, I haven't decided yet, but we'll keep it in the Protecto pack for now. We'll put it to the side. Next one we have is the Hot Wheels ID Tesla Model S. And this casting is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous, just because that Spectra Flame paint job that they have on there, it's got the nice Tesla logo on the side of it. And check out the wheels and tires. I love the kind of like that trim around the tires. It just looks fantastic, but nice detail. These Hot Wheels ID cars are much more highly detailed than the main lines. I mean, you're obviously paying a premium for them. Just look at it shine. That paint job on there looks great. So we've got the Hot Wheels ID Tesla Model S and we're gonna get into some of the mainline variations of them. Uh, let's start it off at the, let's start off at the Tesla Roadsters here. We've got a blue Tesla Roadster right here and this blue is probably one of my favorites for a blue colored car. I just like this. It's kind of a mixture of like not quite sky blue, but it's kind of like in between like a royal blue and the sky blue. It's kind of a mixture of it and it's a little bit more metallic on there. It's got the nice 10 spoke wheels on there. Good details on the back of it. it says Tesla right around the back as well. Black interior. Very nice looking casting. Uh, next one up, we've got this one right here, which is a, another Tesla Roadster in orange. And I believe this one might be one of the Speed Machines variations of it. They had a Speed Machines variation. I will admit, I don't have every color casting of the Tesla Roadster, but of the other ones, I do have pretty much every casting or will be getting them. So here we go. The orange with the black on there. Again, great detail on the back of it. We'll go on to the next one, which is the green one. I'm really liking this green. This green looks fantastic. Lots of green colored cars on Hot Wheels and this color, the shading of green is just great. So there's your Tesla on the back. It's got the double stripe and it's got kind of like this colored, uh, like like kind of a cut in the color right there. And it's got the cuts in the color right there as well. So it kind of looks pretty neat. It looks cool. I like that, I like that. Good detail on the front of it as well. And next one, we'll go up to the red one right here. And this one's got uh, what they, the quote unquote, the, the pizza cutter wheels, which a lot of people are calling these ones right now, but uh, I think they look okay. I mean, they're not my favorite. I would prefer kind of like the, the five star, the split five star ones, but there we go. Very nice with the black interior. There you are, there's your Tesla Roadster, and we'll skip that one in the middle for a second. We've got another one. This is a slightly more darker red. This is more of the traditional Tesla color, the traditional Tesla red when it first came out. It's kind of in this type of shading, so this is a little bit older of a one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the, is this the mainline variation? I can't remember exactly. That might be the mainline variation of the Super Treasure Hunt. It looks very similar to it. That one looks really cool. I like that one. It's got that nice tan interior on there as well and the Tesla on the back of it. And I'm really hoping they come out with the 2020 Tesla Roadster. That would be fantastic if they did come out with that one. Last but definitely not least of the Tesla Roadsters, we've got the Starman Roadster or Spaceman Roadster, whichever you wanna call it. And there it is, it's got the little, the dude in there. If you guys don't know the story, Tesla sent the Super Treasure Hunt variation to space and then Hot Wheels kind of honored it by coming out with the Starman or Spaceman Roadster. So they've got the little dude in there, which is really, really cool. These are collectible. I would say hang on to these ones. If you have an unopened one, uh, collect it. I have a shorty card variation of this one, which I did keep for my collection. All right, let's move on to, let's go on to the Model S. I don't have the Model S's exactly in order, uh, except the last one there, I do know. Uh, there we go, silver Model S right there. 
I love silver cars. I think it looks great. Got the black wheels on there. And then from the back of it, it's got the little like spoiler thing that's up on all these casts. And it's got the small Tesla riding the little logo on the back. So nice detail for all of the Model S's. And uh, yeah, my casting is not perfect because, you know, I do race these down the track. Most of these ones have been raced down the track. So there might be some small imperfections from me racing them. Black one, this one's a fairly new one. It's kind of like a metallic black. It's got a little bit of a metallic sparkle. I like these wheels though. These are the wheels that I really like. And there it is from the back. And there we go from the front of it as well. It sparkles in my light there. Uh, we've got the blue one right here. One of the original blue ones. There it is. Looks good, it looks good. Same, I like those wheels on there as well. Nice sparkle to it. Kind of a nice metallic paint job on there. Uh, then we've got the Zamac edition. And if you're a fan of the Zamac cars, this is definitely a good one to have. I'm sure this one will be uh, a lot more valuable in the future, a lot more collectible. I'm loving the blacked out wheels with the silver lip on there, kind of that chrome silver lip. Looks great, especially from the back. Zamac, the unpainted, or I guess uh, they are technically painted, but there it's kind of like an unfinished look to it. We've got the white Tesla Model S and those nice wheels on there. And this one you can see it's got a different interior. It's got kind of like that tan interior, the white with tan, a little bit more traditional color for the Model S. A lot of people loving the white Teslas. White Teslas, I feel like white might be the most popular color for Teslas. Don't quote me on that, I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, we got a gray one here as well. This one has a colored chrome lip on it as well, which I think looks cool. I'm liking the black wheels on there. Good looking from the front as well and from the back. Nice tampa work and stuff on there. Red one, I really like the red Tesla Model S. When they came out with the original uh, P90D, the ludicrous mode, they had it in red and I think it looked great, especially with those blacked wheels on there with the chrome lip on there as well. And of course, the same nice good detail tempo work on the front and back. You can see maybe small imperfection from me playing with it, but that's okay. It's gone down the track, it's crashed into the wall. Uh, then we've got the brand new one that just came out in, I believe it was the M case that it came out in. I like this one. I think the, the blue of this one is perfect. And then the wheels that they matched it with those gray wheels looks fantastic. Looks great, great, great. I love this one so much. But again, if you compare the color of the Hot Wheels ID one to all of them, you can see how much more of a glossy sparkle that the Spectra paint on this one is just much more better than all of the mainline types of variations. Uh, the one that I am missing is the Super Treasure Hunt variation of this one, which I've got up on the screen right now so you guys can see that one. I'm trying to get my hands on it, so hopefully we can find that one, and then in the future we might have to include it in the next update of the collection video. And we'll move on to the Tesla Model X. And we got the white one. The white one, I believe, was the first one that came out. Uh, there it is, white, and these wheels were, I think this was, might have been one of the first times that we saw these particular wheels. Um, they started coming on a lot more different cars um, after this one, but uh, I, I think these wheels are, they're interesting. I feel like they suit the Model X. I don't know if they suit a lot of other cars, but they suit the Model X. They, they look good bigger with those wheels there. Uh, there we go, the Hot Wheels logo on the back, the Tesla logo right there on there, and then from the front, pretty good detail on the front, not gonna lie. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a Model X SUV. How good can they make it look? But I think they did a good job on it. Uh, then it came out in red. It's kind of a, a little bit of a slightly darker red. It's got some metallic to it. They kept those same wheels on there, which again, I think look good. Um, and then obviously this car is popular for those, the gullwing type doors, which this one does not have, but we do know that uh, it came out in Matchbox. They came out with the gullwing type doors for it. So if you can get your hands on that one from Matchbox, it is really, really cool. Uh, there it is in the red. And then we got this one right here, which is, I don't know, what, what do you even call this color? It's kind of like a, a grayish, tannish color, kind of a mixture. It's kind of a little bit too light for gray, but ah, whatever you want to call it. There we go from the back. Good detail on the back. And this one, Tesla Energy. Had the big Tesla Energy on the side of it, and that's in the exact Tesla writing. And then it's got the 10 spoke wheels on there, which were the first to come to this casting. And then decent detail from the front of it as well. And we'll put that one back. Then we've got the last one 
of the series of these Tesla Model X's and this one is kind of like a, it's like a, a lighter black color. It's very metallic, almost very dark gray. And then this one obviously has the Tesla energy on there on the side of it as well, which I don't know if I like. I, I, I almost, I, I do like the Tesla writing, but I, I like the clean look of the original variations that came out of this one and the white and the red ones, but still, eh, it's okay. It's okay, I gotta collect it. I love my Teslas, put that one up there. Then we will move on to the newer casting, the newest Tesla casting, which is your Tesla Model 3. And very interesting story is my wife's mother, my mother-in-law, purchased a white Tesla Model 3. And so as soon as she got it, I gave her the Hot Wheels variation. I gave her a couple of them brand new and she's got them displayed at home. But I love this casting. I think it's awesome. I was really looking forward to the Model 3 coming out. Model 3, it's, it's kind of a love it or hate it type of car, I feel. I feel a lot of people just don't like it at all. But uh, I've driven a couple of them in real life and they are fantastic cars. I really, really like them. So I was super happy when Hot Wheels decided to come out with it as a casting. This one's a white with the 10 interior, and there it is. Kind of basic from the front, just because you don't need any air intake or anything, but I still look, think it looks great. And the casting that has come after this one is this one that's popped up on screen right now. It is the red colored variation of the Tesla Model 3, which is coming in the next case. I should have that one very soon. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up and whenever there's other Teslas that come out, I'll definitely get my hands on them. And if there's any that I'm missing, let me know guys. I know I'm missing a lot of the Roadsters, but let me know if I'm missing any Tesla Model S's or X's or if there's another three maybe I don't know about. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.